And we're live. Hey guys, it's Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. We're Facebook Live today. It's another great day to be creative. And I want to see who's out there, who's responding, who's part of my crew today, because we're going to talk about fun with fisheye. That's right. So our Be Creative today is about how to use a fisheye lens. Now, we all know that fisheye lenses are fun. They're exciting. We saw, see a lot of them in the skateboarding community. That's great, and I love that approach. But I love a fisheye lens for myself. And so Canon makes fisheyes. Nikon makes fisheyes. Sigma makes fisheyes for Canon and Nikon. It's a great fun lens to use because it gives a different look. Remember, a fisheye lens gives a 180 degree field of view. Some fisheye lenses give a square picture, some give a round picture. But the, one of the advantages of the new zoom fisheyes from Canon, Nikon, and Sigma is that you can zoom the fisheye and adjust between the round picture and a square picture. It's really cool. So this is a portrait with a fisheye lens in the square mode. So it gives a regular picture. We love that bulb look of a fisheye lens. That's why it's called a fisheye lens. Not because it looks like a fish or makes everyone looks like a fish, but I love the fisheye lens for unconventional photography. So what have I done here? I've taken a flower photo and the fisheye lens, the wide angle lens is actually in the flower taking a 180 degree field of view. You can see that this is a round fisheye versus the square. I love this effect of using the round fisheye lens for close-ups, for flowers, for scenics. When I'm doing star trails and astrophotography, this is a cool effect with the round fisheye. So this happens to be with the Nikon 8 to 15 at eight millimeters. So I've got the camera on a tripod with the lens high pointing absolutely straight up so that I get the full sky from horizon to horizon in the picture. It's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun and to shoot with this kind of an effect. If you want this effect, this is what you have to do to get it. Or here, in the trees in the fall color, using the round fisheye effect to get the 180 degree circle. It's so exciting, it's so fun. Or here, with our group, a picture you wouldn't think of. So this one, I've got the lens, I'm holding the lens down low with all of us looking in to the scene, makes it a lot of fun. We'll also use the fisheye for a scene. So this is at Horseshoe Bend with the, the fisheye zoomed to the 15 position or 16 position, depending on your lens. So it gives you the square image, 180 degree field of view. This doesn't look like a fisheye, but it is. Or here, in the Slick Rock country of Northern Arizona, the same thing with a fisheye lens to get that very wide angle look. Or here in the Slot Canyons where we'll be the end of September using a fisheye lens. I love a fisheye lens. They're not cheap, you know, 700 to $1,500 for a fisheye lens. But it's an awesome lens for making great pictures. Any questions, Pete? Uh, Dono Jones says, can't you get the portrait or horizon in post? Can't you get the portrait or horizon in post? I don't know what you're referring to. Now, you can flatten the image, so the fisheye lenses do give the, the, the bowing to the image, the angular distortion, you can correct that in post if you like. I don't want to because I want that effect. I want that bowing effect to my image. What else, Pete? Uh, Donald Jones says, wahoo. Yes, wahoo. I love my fisheye lens. So come on down to Paul's photo. We have the Nikon 10.5 millimeter fisheye. We have the Nikon 8 to 15 millimeter fisheye zoom. These are both awesome lenses. Right now we're out of the Canon 8 to 15. We're waiting for them to come in. We're out of the Sigma fisheyes. We're waiting for them to come in. Guys, supplies are not 
you know, we're having to wait for a lot of products right now. Supplies are not coming in as fast as we would all hope. We're doing the best we can to keep everything in stock for you to help. And I just got a lot of questions this week about fisheye, so we decided to do this video. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're having fun. Does anybody else have any questions, Pete? Renee says, idea, class on fisheye. <laughs> so the problem, I would love to have a class on fisheye, but you got to go out, Renee, and everyone would need to have a fisheye to do that. It would be a lot of fun. Um, one of the things I love about the fisheye is it, it's a lens that I don't use a lot. So in my bag, it's probably the least used lens in my bag. But when I, you see these pictures are awesome, they're beautiful. And they can only be done with a fisheye. Even a, a real wide angle lens will not give that same effect as with a fisheye. Other questions, Pete? Uh, Jefferson Graham says, did my man Proto Tripod show up yet? <laughs> no, we're still waiting. You know, we're waiting for stuff to come in, guys. It's so tough waiting for products to arrive. Oh, that's it with the questions. All right. So if anybody has any questions, you can always write to me, mark at paulsphoto.com. If you want to sign up for a class, go to creativephotoacademy.com. And we'll always go out. We'll always have fun. I want to inspire you to try a fisheye lens. This is the Nikon 10.5 millimeter DX fisheye. This is the Nikon 8 to 15 millimeter fisheye zoom. Canon has a similar lens to that. This and Sigma has a similar lens to this. So come on down to Paul's Photo. We'll get you taken care of. We'll answer all your questions and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. Anybody else, Pete? Mm, that's it. All right, guys. We're going to close out the Facebook Live. I'm going to share this so you guys can all see it. You can send your friends. I hope you're going to love the pictures. Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo. Have a great day, everyone. Be safe. And get out and make a fisheye picture.